Hi folks and welcome back. I've ventured down to the deepest, darkest corner of my back garden for a lockdown overnight camp. I've been looking for an excuse to try out my new canvas swag from Outhouse. Really excited about trying it out, so I thought it would be a good opportunity. We had some snow today. Uh, you know, we don't get a lot of snow in this country, very rarely, and um, we, had, we had a nice little sprinkling this morning. Uh, sadly, the temperature has risen as the day has gone on and uh, it's now all melting, which is making it very squidgy and squelchy underfoot, unfortunately, where I am. But, you know, that's what it is. It's just gonna be a bit of a muddy camp. I'm gonna go and collect some firewood, and as I'm in my garden, I'm gonna forage some from my wood store and get a fire going. Um, I'm gonna be cooking on my fire tonight. I've got some nice food, and I'm gonna want this fire to keep warm through the evening. Um, it's about one degree now, um, but it's supposed to start to increase overnight, I think, to about two, maybe three degrees uh, overnight, that's centigrade. My sleeping bag I've got with me has got a, it's, well, it's a winter bag, it's rated down to minus something. Um, so I'm gonna be plenty warm enough uh, without the fire, but you know, I'm gonna be sitting here through the evening, enjoying the evening, so I want that fire for warmth. I've got a few logs to get me started, and then over here I've got some oak offcuts from work, um, which will be good, they'll, they'll burn nice and hot, it'd be ideal for, for cooking on. The problem I've got is that my fire pit, I'm gonna have my fire in, is full of water. It's just been so wet lately and we've had that snow today and obviously that's all just melted so I'm going to try and scoop that out and hopefully it won't fill back up but I'll put some uh, bits of wood in the bottom here um, you know it doesn't matter that it's not dry wood I'll just put it in and make a kind of platform just to keep the fire up off that damp and, uh, and give it a bit of a chance. Well, so far so good with the fire. Chucking out loads of heat, and hopefully it'll start to dry things out a little bit, which would be good. It's a squelchy, horrible quagmire. <laughs> yeah, bit of a weird video this week. Um, you know, obviously we're in uh, we're in lockdown, so I can't get out and um, and film as I would do normally out in the woods. And I wanted to do wanted to do a camp. I wanted to camp out, and I wanted to try this new swag. I was going to show you that. Um, this evening, but I've kind of lost the light now, really. Um, so I think I'll probably show you that in the morning. I can, you know, show you it properly. But it's a great bit of kit. 
I carried everything <laughs> all the way from the house <laughs> rolled up in the swag as well which is quite cool you can just put everything you need in there and just roll the whole thing up and um, everything is is in it you know it's it's a self-contained sleeping system and shelter it's got a mattress a thick uh, foam mattress like a kind of eggshell foam mattress um, my sleeping bag is in there my pillow uh, everything and you just roll it up with everything in there which is which is really good I like it Got my good old fire anchor from TJM Metalworks today to cook on. This thing is brilliant. I've shown you this before. You can slide it up and down. You can swing it out the way. It's really good. I'm going to use the grill just as a platform to rest my frying pan on because I've got some groats pudding which I'm going to have for dinner. This is groat pudding, and uh, my good buddy Ginge sent these up to me. Um, I had to Google what they were, I had no idea. <laughs> had a funny name, groat pudding. Um, but they're uh, a Cornish and Devonshire uh, sausage, basically. Uh, it's a pork sausage with groats in, and groats are a grain. Usually oats, but they can be other things. They can be uh, wheat or barley, but um, yeah, generally oats. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to trying this out. I'm just going to slice it up. It's actually already cooked. You've just got to kind of fry it, reheat it. So I'll slice it up into little rounds and um, that is what I'm having for my dinner with some nice sauce that I brought with me. bit of oil. And then with the grope puddings. Rumble a bit. Whew. Ah. Well, I'm going to call these done, I think. They're nicely browned all over. Like I said, it is already cooked. That ought to do it. Mm. Oh yeah.
seconds. I haven't got another wrap, but I do have another sausage. These ones are looking better. These ones kind of turned to mush. Hmm. Thanks, Ginge. And thanks, Ben. You might be wondering why I haven't got Maggie with me tonight, you know, I'm, I'm out here in my own garden and, and no Maggie. I was going to have her with me, but it's just the mud, um, you know, she's got nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nowhere to sit down or lie down that isn't in the mud. And obviously I'm sleeping in a, a very small, well it's not even a tent, is it? Smaller than a tent. Um, you know, obviously Maggie can't be in there with me. Um, so yeah, that's the reason. My garden is kind of divided into two halves. Um, the bit that is closest to the house is generally kind of like Maggie's domain, and that's secure. There's fencing all the way around, she can't get out. Um, but in the bit that I'm in, uh, there are gaps. So if she came here, if she came into this bit and I didn't pay attention, <laughs> she'd be off because she's a bugger like that. She likes to go off and explore, which, um, you know, is fine, but other people don't want her in their gardens so yeah that's why I ended up having to lift this pan up a bit um, this is sunk into the ground and even though I bailed all that water out and took all the mud and stuff out from the bottom of it um, it just filled back up again while the fire was burning initially. Um, so I've ended up lifting it out and then just putting some stones underneath it to lift it up out of the, out of the mud. There's just so much, the ground is just saturated, you know? So it was just filling this, um, this pan up. You can probably hear a sort of fizzing. Sounds like wet wood, but actually the wood I'm burning on here is, is super dry. Um, that is just the water underneath. As I've lifted this up, it's created a void underneath, which is full of water. <laughs> and I think that water is just boiling from the heat of the fire. Um, you know, the water that's underneath it. I've really enjoyed the evening. I've had a couple of very nice ales and enjoyed this fire and squelching my feet in the mud. I'm going to uh, make a hot chocolate because it's that time of the evening and I like to have a hot chocolate before before turning in while I'm camping. It just sort of like preheats my core and uh, I know I'll sleep well. My sleeping bag is super warm to be honest. I'm gonna be fine but um, yeah there's something about a hot chocolate just before bed so that's what I'm gonna do now.
I'm going to uh, drink this up and then hit the sack. I'm going to do the uh, prize draw in the morning. Um, hopefully you, you'll have seen that video. That was the, the video before last, the, the woodland lunch omelette, twig stove omelette that I did. Um, right at the end of that video there was a, there was a, a thank you giveaway for hitting my 100,000 subscriber uh, sort of milestone. Uh, so hopefully you saw that and hopefully you've you've entered um yeah i'll i'll uh i'll do the draw for the three winners in the morning that'll be that'll be good yeah so good luck everybody who entered so i'm going to drink this up and i will see you in the morning good night
Morning folks. I can quite honestly tell you that that was the best night's sleep I've ever had camping. <clears throat> this, uh, this swag sleep system is amazing. The mattress is really comfortable and it's warm. You know, I was in a warm sleeping bag, but even, you know, you still feel the cold on your face often. <clears throat> there was none of that. The space inside was warm because it's a small space and it's canvas and it traps the air, traps that warm air in much better than nylon. <clears throat> yeah, really great bit of kit. And also because it's canvas, it, it blocks the light out. So um, when the sun came up this morning, I wasn't woken up by, you know, brightness. <laughs> Yeah, really good. I'll um, show you around, take you in for a closer look. It's got this great big top flap area, so you can open it right back to get in and out really easily. No reeling in through a small, uh, you know, top entry door. And um, in the summer, you can just keep that back. There's a mosquito net as well which zips all the way around so you can keep the, the bugs at bay but still be able to see out through this sort of like you know no cm mozzie netting there is a door at the front which you can use to get in and out of in, in bad weather if you don't want to open the top up and the panel for that just rolls up and secures there's a mosquito net door and then behind that is the main canvas door to get in so you can just fold that flat down in the summer and have the mosquito net door for extra ventilation through and the uh, panel here you can actually guy out and use as a kind of awn awning almost and then at the foot end there's another panel here which you can roll up with a, a mesh vent there so you've got really good airflow all the way through you know these things were designed um, for use in Australia originally you know these were the original kind of Australian bush shelter. Um, so you know, obviously heat heat is the issue there. So lots of lots of ventilation is needed, and there's there's plenty. You know, ventilation on top, ventilation at the foot end, and a big vent panel at the head end. So uh, really great in the summer, but also great throughout the year in the winter as well. Up at the head end, there are loads of storage pockets. Uh, that's repeated on the other side as well. So there's there are five pockets, so you can keep things tucked away in there where you can find them, your head torch, phone, whatever. I've been keeping my camera batteries in here and my phone down in there. Yeah, really good. But I think the best thing about these is this. Like I said, it's an incorporated system. So you have a mattress, a two inch thick foam eggshell mattress, which is really comfortable. And the fact that it's just, it's all there. You know, you roll it out, you can keep your sleeping bag in here with your pillow, with everything you need and you can just roll it out and it's ready. Um, and it's really, really comfortable. And then it's got this sort of doormat panel, which is attached to the side of the swag, which has been really useful on this camp, just because of the mud. Um, you know, you can take your boots off here, step onto something that is, well, relatively mud free, but it's better than that. <laughs> and then you can step in without taking loads of mud into the, um, into the swag with you. Yeah, I really love it. They are heavy and bulky. You know, you wouldn't want to take it on a backpacking trip, that's for sure. But if you're car camping, or you haven't got very far to walk to your camp, or you're canoe camping, or anything like that, um, perfect. You know, a ready-made, super comfortable bed. Right then, I think it's time we did the draw. Just to recap, there are three prizes up for grabs. First prize is a cast iron skillet um, in a wax canvas bag, a titanium cooking pot, titanium knife, fork and spoon, a honey stove, which is a, a small, compact, lightweight twig stove that folds flat, um, and some hot chocolates, sticker and patch. Prize two is the same skillet and bag, a titanium cup, a smaller one, doesn't have the bale handle on top, knife, fork and spoon, a Lixada folding twig stove, hot chocolates, patch and sticker. 
and the third prize is pretty much the same as the second, except the stove is different. This is a slot together twig stove by One Tigress. I'm gonna use an electronic random comment picker, and for that I'm just gonna use commentpicker.com. I just need to put in the URL of the video, and it will randomly pick winners from the comment section underneath that video. So let's just grab the URL of the video. There it is, Twig Stove Woodland Lunch. Share, I want to copy the link. So I've pasted it in there, there's the video. And then I want to filter out duplicate users. So anybody who's put in more than one comment hoping to win or hoping to increase their chances, sorry. <laughs> and uh, get the comments. So it's just counting here. It's a thousand. There you go, 7,504 entries. Good luck everybody. This is for prize number one. We've got Wiz in PA. I'm in, congrats on your, on your growing channel. I really enjoy every video you make. Well done, you have won prize number one. Uh, you'll need to email, email me or um, Contact me through Messenger, details are below the video, and uh, I can get your address and I'll get that shipped out to you. Right, this one for prize two. Survive the night. That's Ant, I know who that is. Well done Ant, you are the second winner. I'll just read you his comment. You are genuinely, genuinely one of the most down to earth guys on YouTube, thank you. I can just tell, tell how grateful you are mate. Once again, Simon, a massive congratulations to you on hitting 100K. I'm gutted we didn't see you out in the canoe this New Year's Day. Um, and also, no Ginge too. I think he was with you last year, wasn't he, in the canoes? Yes, he was. Anyway, a cracking stove. And that skillet looks, looks mean <laughs> in a good way. I'd like to enter if that's okay, so I'm in. Thanks for all your hard work last year. And with regards to keeping us entertained through this madness, and all the very best for this year and hopefully more of the same from you, mate. Right, let's pick another winner for prize three. And we've got Kevin H. His comment reads, I'm in, keep the videos coming. They're fantastic, you do a great job. From not too far away in Norfolk. Ah, well that'll be, <laughs> that'll be handy for postage anyway. Well done you three and thank you to everybody who entered and for all of your support over the last four years. It's massively, massively appreciated. I'm gonna get everything packed away here, get this lot all squared away, rolled up, packed away for the long hike back to civilization. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>